Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be going through how to create a structured mesh in Gmesh, also called a transfinite mesh. To keep things simple and to get the gist of how to do it, we will be working with a four-point rectangle. In the next video, I'll show you how to do a slightly more complicated five-point rectangle, which I will actually be using as the mesh for a CFD problem I'll be running in a future video. So you can see I have now called my file rectangle structured.geo, and this method progresses in very much the same way as my unstructured rectangular domain mesh. So first we go into geometry, elementary entities, add, I'm gonna start with four points. So in here, I'm gonna specify four points, and I'm gonna start off at zero, zero. So that's right here, and press E to make a point. I'm right-clicking to bring it over here. And now at zero, one, I'm going to specify another point. So that's press E again. I'm gonna move over to one, two, press E, and then down to zero, two, press E again. Those are our points, X out of this, and then press Q to abort zoom out and then I can right click and drag this back into, into view and now we have our four points here. The next step is to connect these four points to create our domain with straight lines. So we're going to go to straight line, click on the point, click on this ending point, click on the starting point, ending point, starting point, ending point, starting point, ending point, press Q to abort. That creates our lines. Now we need to say that the domain is a plane surface, so we go into plane surface here, click it, and we need to select the surface boundary, so I'm gonna click this. It selects the entire boundary because there's only one rectangle. Press E to end the selection, and Q to abort. Now we wanna be able to set the boundary condition markers, so I'm going to uh, bring this down and then open up physical groups, add line, and we'll name the physical group here, which is the boundary condition marker. So for the inlet, I'm gonna call this inlet, enter, and I selected the inlet, and then I press E, and I'm gonna go over here, select the outlet, call it outlet, press E. You can name this anything, you just have to change it in the code when you run it. Again, I'm doing this for uh, SU2 as an example. And now this will be the top boundary, so I'll call it top, press E, select the bottom boundary, and I'll call it bottom, press enter, and then click E, and that sets all of our boundary conditions, Q to abort. Now if I go into mesh over here and I click 2D, you can see that it gives us that unstructured mesh that I talked about in my other video, and it looks dumb because it's super coarse right now, but uh, if you look at the other video, you can see how to adjust that. Uh, but to get rid of this 2D mesh, this 2D unstructured mesh, I'm just gonna press reload real quick. So the first step in making the transfinite mesh is to open up the define section, and you can see that there's a section called transfinite, and then you open that up, and we need to define the surface. So if I click surface, Surface, what you do is you select the surface and you can see the crosshairs come up on the dashed surface lines here. So I click that and then it says select ordered boundary points. You can only select four points for a transfinite mesh. So I'm going to select the four bounding points, one, two, three, four, and now press E to end the selection, press Q to abort that. Now we need to specify how many cells or points that we want in our domain for each side. Now each opposing side, so the left side and the right side have to have the same number of points and the top and the bottom have to have the same number of points. So we go into transfinite and now we click on line and you can see that it brings up a thing that says number of points. So I'm gonna say 10 for right now and I'm gonna say that the left side here and the right side here should have 10 points, which means that the number of cells is actually 10 minus one or nine cells per uh, boundary, so I'm gonna press E. And then for the top ones, I'm gonna say, okay, I want 20 points, which is 19 cells, and I'll click both of those, press E to end the selection, and then Q to abort. Great, so let's try meshing. We'll just go to 2D, click it, and now it doesn't look like it's a transfinite or structured mesh. It still looks like it's a more ordered, unstructured mesh uh, that has essentially triangular cells, but we want uh, square cells or four-sided cells. And so what you do is you press recombine, and then it says select surfaces. So we're going to, again, select that surface, press E, press Q to abort, and then press 2D again. And now we have our structured mesh. Recall how we set the left and right sides to have 10 points, which means nine cells. So we can count that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then these sides have 20 points and they have 19 cells. Let's say you want to adjust the number of uh, cells or points that you have on these boundaries. You could go through and select the line again and change them. Or the other easier way is just to open the file. So click the edit file. And in here you can see we made the transfinite line. So this is the left and right edges and this is the top and bottom. And here, let's say I wanna increase this to 20 and I wanna increase the other one to 40. We can just type those in, control S to save it, press reload. 
and then we can do 2D and that'll change it to now the new number of points that you put in. Note that this is still just a geometry file that Gmesh uses. This is not a mesh file yet. So to get a mesh file, we go to file, save as, and for SU2, the mesh file that you can use is the .su2. So I'm just gonna call it the same thing and just replace the extension to .su2 and it guesses from the extension and we'll save it save all, press OK, and I've now saved the mesh. So that was how to create a structured or transfinite mesh in Gmesh for a four-point rectangle. In the next video, I'll be going through how to create a slightly more complicated five-point uh, structured rectangular mesh in Gmesh for use in a CFD problem. Thanks for watching.